Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm trying out Cry of the Mermaid, a free game found on Itch, as always, link in the description, but let's get to it. Oh, jeez. Hi. Throwing the credits in my face. Wait! <laughs> Don't leave me here! Oh. I thought I was, like, swimming, but I'm moving way too fast for that to be the case. Or maybe I'm the mermaid, I don't know. I'm a snack, but I guess, like, we're both in reptile or kind of reptile family. I guess we're similar in the sense that we are both have scales and hair, which is super weird. Don't seem to... Oh, I do have a flashlight. Wunderbar. What? What? Why are the fish all bloody? Why are some of them still moving? That's weird. Like, no one else here thinks that's... Oh, there's no one else here. Alright, I can run, so that's cool. Fish are having a bad day, and it kind of feels like I'm about to. There's something shiny over here. Oh, is that just a light? I think it's just a light. Oh. Emergency crane crank. Oh. Alright. As usual, I don't know anything about these games. When I download them off itch, I try to spoil myself as little as possible and just kind of try to dive into them blind. So, we're going to learn together. It's a really nice skybox. Oh. Alright. Key. Key is good. Now, what's interesting about mermaids is the way they've been depicted throughout history has varied. Like, sometimes they are a kind creature, and sometimes they are super evil. Operation instructions, attach engine crank, spin crank until light is green, push lever forward to move crane arm down, pull lever back to move arm up, push lever left or right to rotate the crane. What do I need the crane for? Alright, speed things up a little bit here. Hmm? Uh, hi. Yes. That. Uh, I would like that. Oh, I can click and drag. I just throw it off the ship. I'd probably soft lock me. Or the dev has considered that I'm an idiot and has put safeguards in to prevent that from happening. Let's not tempt fate, shall we? Okay. So, attach into the crank, spin crank to light is green. Spin! We Spin! I guess it doesn't matter which direction. Yellow. Green! Alright. Push lever forward to move crane arm down. Am I supposed to be like up here? Where are we going? I don't know. Did I hit something? Oh, I'm trying to move the boat out of the way. Jeez. Should have guessed. Okay. So, just kind of put it thereabouts. Looks good. Yeah, that looks good. You just hang out there. Nope. Yeah, push doors. Hey, guys. I'm back in now. Ship manifest, passengers and crew, 812, coal and steam turbine engines, four of them, lightboats, 14, that is not enough lightboats, coal fuel, 5,488 tons, sovereign reclamations, artifacts, 3,200, I'm not sure what that is, letters, parcels, and bullion. Alright, that sounds promising. So, what's this? Nice exciting trip up to the luxury deck today. Captain Smith said anybody working up here today had to look presentable in front of the passengers. A lucky few of us got to use those fancy new showers. A lot of cool stuff up here, too. Nice sofas and that fancy painting. I can stare at it for hours as you feel safe for some reason. Can't hide around all day. Back to work. What's the deal with this thing? It's like a box that someone opened. 
Is that a statue? Okay. Mana ray, maybe? Whoa! Well, okay then! Who needs doors? I'll just rip the whole wall down! I guess that's everything. Oh, this is starting to look a little more ominous. And from, look how great this place is to everything falling in on itself. Now, I'm not one to judge, but those fancy folk are weird. There's this musical lot from down south, an orchestra they call themselves. A bunch of luggage, but wouldn't let any of us stewards carry the instrument cases. Funny way of talking, too. Don't sound like any southerners I've ever met. Watch right past one of them in the halls who had some horrible posh folk perfume on. Could have sworn it smelled like a fish market. When the first face is east, standing next to its reflection, down is the only path. First face is east. First face is east, standing next to its reflection. So this one will be its reflection. Down is the only path. Turn. 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 I will end you. Hmm. Is it raining through the ceiling? Yes, it is. <laughs> Found a bug! <laughs> Found a bug. Okay, let's look at this again. Hmm? Saying next to its reflection. First face is east. East is right. Next to its reflection. Down is the only path. Turn. Oh, there we go. I said to catch it the right way. So that should have done something. The stairs are not an option right now, but I have some doors. Double hinged. Captain's log. When I find who has been doing these juvenile pranks, I'll have them raked over the coals on extra shifts until we reach Gothenburg. Changing the combination lock to the office and leaving behind silly riddles, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the stewards. Key. Saloon doors. Whoop, I didn't see that before. Captain's log. We set off for Newcastle Harbor a little later than desired due to some late passengers, but now we're on good course. All passengers and crew accounted for lighter on cargo than originally planned. I expect the mermaid could make it to Sweden even a day early. So the mermaid is the ship. So this may not be about actual mermaids. This might be about the ship itself. Which definitely is a little less exciting in a way. Scene transition. Oh, I'm using a lantern. Fair enough. July 11, the Mermaid Luxury Bar, the London Orchestra Association, gathered for a special one-night performance on board the Mermaid. The London Orchestra Association will be performing String Quartet No. 1 and would be delighted for a large attendance. See you there. That's cool. Same thing. So, we cool? Whoa! The door wouldn't move at first, and then it decided to move entirely too much. Okay. Yikes! That's a lot of fish. Why are there fish in the bed? I'm sure there's some kind of seabed joke in here, but I'm just not I'm just not coming up with it. Toilet, bathtub, sink. So apart from the fish, this room is actually pretty normal. So really, compared to like in most horror games, 
Hi. There's no need for that. I'm just an unsuspecting member of the crew. So, at this point, I'm beginning to conclude that the mermaid might be both literal and figurative. Not that key. Excuse you. Ah, note. Ah, that again. Well, I guess they really wanted to advertise for this event. Seems like it was kind of a big deal. Okay, there was a locked door back here that I haven't tried yet. Nada. Well, slash that then. So what is this a key to? Oh, this room. Room where I'm sure nothing terrible will happen to me. Crowbar. Can't, can't I just pick it up and put it in inventory? Do I have to carry it like this? This is going to be a little awkward. Can I smash the lock? In essence, there's really no reason I shouldn't be able to do that. Hit it at the right angle, you probably could. <sighs> Better take it with me, though. Gotta say, good atmosphere here. Hmm? Ah, well, something, saw, saw something on its feet. What gives? I don't know if I'm just really far from a door or something, but it feels like my... Uh... You want to cooperate with me here? Ah, crowbar on piano. Yes, this makes perfect sense. I guess at this point I should try to find a place to use the crowbar would be the... Ah. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, try not to drop it this time. Game Dev was very proud of his physics functionality. Boom! Alright. Had to play around on that big fancy piano while the posh folk were landing, dancing on the far hall. Hit some keys, and then a drawer popped out of the front. Thought I had broken the thing at first, so it must have been some sort of secret. At least I have a spot up here to hide my tobacco pouch or something that Captain Smith walks by. Man, Shay, you were getting up to all sorts of shenanigans. So that piano is my next clue. Oh wait, it's showing me the key. So it's that one. Then that one. Have I ever mentioned I'm not musically literate? Because I'm not. That's a pretty song. Why does it feel like it's my funeral dirge? Okay, so... this room. No. Feels like I'm gonna be in this hallway for a while. Those are the two that were unlocked to begin with. Color coding the lock so I don't have to play a process of elimination might be a good tack to take. These ones? Sweets. Alright, guess I'm not stuck in that hallway. Library? Fish. Fish in library. Again, feels like there's a joke, but it's just not common. Yeah, you know, that's the thing with super mythological creatures. 
you end up with situations where, in some interpretations of the myth, they're super nice and friendly and fit for a Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper, and in others, they're horrible man-eating atrocities who will rip out your spleen just because they feel like it. So this is a bathroom. All the accommodations one should expect. Got some nice Minecraft pixel art of a boat, presumably the sail self same vessel we are aboard. Whoop. Hey, out of my way. Oh, it's just that again. I guess they really were trying to hype up this event, huh? And the bar, yes. Many an hour, many a life wasted, many a bartender under tipped. See something on the other side of that wall. For whatever reason, they really didn't want people going in there. Can I read this? Excuse you. It was the orchestra. One minute they were unpacking from the instrument cases, the next all I can see is blood. Somehow we got the kitchen locked while they searched in there, but they're already pounding on the kitchen door and the bar trap door. What? I'm sorry? What? All you just gave me was, it was the orchestra. Which is fine. Oh no, very large attendance. I just kind of put together what's happening here, and it's really awful. So, yeah, I'm probably, it's probably going to be one of those horror games where I do everything right and die for my trouble. Here goes. Hi. This is like the captain's quarters. Oh, good, I was worried. Thought I might have to go in there or something stupid like that. <laughs> Glad that's not the case. So... Anything back here? Candelabra? So, I'm not seeing anything on the bar. Not seeing anything around the bar, apart from fish. With my luck, I probably blundered past it a couple times now. There's nothing in that little library room. Nope, I didn't see this before. Good, I'm glad. Captain's log, something's wrong. There's a rotten stench coming from the lower decks and just beneath the floorboards. I have no idea what this could be, but I've sent Shay down to check. Ah, goodbye, Shay. First class guests have been begun to notice, unfortunately, as it gets a foul as it sets a foul mood for the orchestra performance tonight. Great! I'm so glad I found this key. I am so happy that I get to investigate the bloodstained room. Where I was just warned that there were definitely flesh eating mermaids. Look, I am down for Monster Girls. Like, down bad. Like, you guys don't even know. But, this is just suicide. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm out of here, losers. So, I bet it's one of these ones in the hallway. But, the piano melody is still going. Oh, good. Another bloodstained note. It's here, buried beneath the depths of the ship. We must rise up for him. Do, do we? Must we? Really? Truly? Must we? I'm just saying, we have the option to not do that. Check the last locked door and see if this key goes to it, too. There was one more, wasn't there? Okay, I'm officially at a loss now. Hmm. Was there a key in here that I overlooked? I 
mean, I played Silent Hill, so I mean, stranger things have happened. Hmm. That's weird, because usually in a key combo quest, one key leads to the next key, and so on and so forth. Hmm. I don't remember seeing that style dresser. Hmm. Maybe some of these rooms are just red herrings to begin with, so to speak. I guess this calls for a sweep investigation of everything that I can access. Oh, I do get tired eventually. Aha! Here we go! Okay, we're back on track. How many times did I have to walk past that? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. Not long now. We had a little trouble getting access to the lower levels, but by tonight we should have everything set up, down? Oh, set up, down in the engine room. Ignorant sheep tend to move out, out the way when you're carrying big instrument cases. It's a very pretty song. I have that going for me. But I'm at the same situation. I thought I would have found a key in here. Hmm. I think I've checked everything in this hallway now. I don't think I've left a stone unturned at this point. Ish. Maybe doing all that was a prerequisite for something to happen in the dining room. So, from what I can infer from the notes, there's some artifact on this ship, or some thing on this ship, or maybe even a person on this ship, that the mermaids are very upset that the humans have in their possession, something that probably belonged to them in the first place. So now, they have decided to come wreak all havoc on everyone and anyone they can find in the confines of this ship. The fact that it also happens to be called the Mermaid is just purely coincidence. A dark one, because it seems like everyone on the ship is dead except me. Fish. I thought something might have spawned in here, because now that I finished that hallway. But I guess not. Oh no. A terrible thought has occurred to me. I might need to grab the crowbar and do something about that. Do I want to do this? No. But I'm out of ideas. So we'll light aerobic workout. Is this necessarily the answer? I don't know. But we're going to find out. Okay, you can kind of shove doors with other objects. That remains a viable strategy. Is there anything on these tables? Doesn't seem to be. I kind of interacted with the door as a result. Can I actually do something like that? Is that an option? I just... <laughs> I think I just lost the crowbar. Hope I don't need that again. Found a bug! Alright. 
running out of places to investigate. That's a problem. Let's check around one more time. Just to make sure I didn't overlook anything. This is me we're talking about. That That is, uh... Wait. You're telling me to interrupt the floor hatch or the fish? It seems like you can interact with that floor hatch. Do I want to? No! Will I have to? Probably. Of course, it's equally likely that it's nothing at all, and it'll just... You know, one way or another I'm gonna die is kind of what I'm thinking here. What am I gonna do? Jump out into the water? Where they have the predominant advantage? I'm sorry, I played Monster Hunter 3, I know how that tends to go. Yeah, the Taku was not a fan because I was like, hey, you know what I want? I want the Blagaya Chris armor. And he's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yes. So he <laughs> went along with me and I got the Blagaya Chris armor, which actually is a really good armor for hunting Cedius. So, yeah, that's a thing. Hmm? Oh, I'm caught up on the couch. Okay, um. I'm running out of ideas. I've already blundered past one key by accident. It's not impossible that I'm simply doing that again. So a quick sweep, and this does nothing, and I get nothing out of this, I will just jump ahead. Rise up for him. Most of the keys have been on tables and benches and places where you would most likely see them. And that's another thing, a little recommendation I have is, like, give us some idea what key goes to what. I've had to do a lot of blind guessing in terms of figuring out which key goes where. So if you were to say, oh, this is the captain's key, this is room 7's key, uh, that would give me a better idea of where the train of progression was actually headed. I think that would help with a bit of what I'm going through right now. Because then after a certain point, you can kind of just make a checklist and start going through with, okay, I have this key and this key, but not this key. And you can kind of use that to reduce the amount of backtracking that I'm having to do. Because I love this atmosphere, I love the idea behind it, I just want to make progress. towards the piano for a minute. I've already found one unexpected key in this general vicinity. These tables are super dark, even when you're shining your light on them. These doors are no longer interactable. I mean, at least it's a pretty song. Someone want to tell me if that keyboard is animated properly? Like, are those actually what... Is this song actually what this piano is currently playing, or is it completely wrong? I'd be curious to know. I can mess with it. <laughs> okay. So the mermaid's entire plan was, by design, to basically just, like, massacre everybody. So, like, there, there was never any intention of not just wiping everyone on the ship out. 
I want to try something real quick. Entertain my theory crafting for just a second. Excuse me. Man, this ship is dark. My little crowbar experiment gave me an idea. So, physics objects tend to mess with doors really badly in this game. Oh. What? <laughs> the texture wraps around to be on the board if it's close enough. Okay. And battering ram. No, the lock actually holds it in place. That's actually really cool. Okay, so... Boarded up doors are one thing. But locked doors are genuinely actually locked. So... Good to know. Already pounding in the kitchen door and the bar trap door. So yeah, that trap door is a thing. I'm not going crazy. Well, I could be going crazy, but it's not over that. On that, I was actually correct. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, I can lift it up. I can. Well, kinda. Try it from this side. Here, maybe if I... Aha! Why, the... Why am I happy about this? This probably puts me in more danger. Ah, nuts to it. I'm not making progress anywhere else. Why? That's a good question. I wish to know that too, you know? I kind of sympathize with her. That was good. I don't fully understand the mechanics behind it, but you got me, so good job. But you know, I kind of see things your way, I'll be honest. Humans are jerks. Not like the worst monster ever, like the whole humanity's a real monster. It's kind of trite, in my opinion. Oh good, I can wear a helmet. Just put the pot on my head. An orchestra of screams and an evening of blood. Once you make it back down to the engine room, the survivors won't matter. There's enough blood spilled up here already. Well, I'm glad that you guys are sated, at least. Good. I'm so happy to have this. So... Hey, my crowbar! Can I... Do I have to go back to the jump scare corridor? I guess I do. Sucks. I'm just gonna run for it. Alright. I guess that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Still not thrilled with this. At this point, I'm just willingly walking into the jaws of danger. Not that their threat about the engine room is, like, really giving me hope here. Because it's not. Door. Good. Good. I'm glad. Oh, I think I walked into a scene transition. Well, I'm heading to the engine room, which, once again, means I'm just knowingly walking into the jaws of death now. I hate this. Oh, I really hate this. Okay. Nothing to it but to do it. <sighs> you know, if you get the feeling that you're just willingly going to your own doom, probably shouldn't do it. It worked. My distraction worked. It seems to be hypersensitive to sudden sound, but struggles to see if you're purposefully hiding. It seems the tool storage cupboards work perfectly for obscuring yourself. Good. This is the part where I'm going to die a lot. 
I bought a few seconds for my crewmates are throwing some coal around as a distraction. Smash a few pipes too, but I doubt it'll change much. They're all doomed. We're all doomed. Cupboards. Good. Good. The last time I was in a situation like this, it was because I had to deal with a giant, angry mutant chicken. What? I can make it, like, straight ahead, or I can put it all around me. Actually, probably would have been helpful in certain parts of the hallway area. That's probably going to hurt a little bit. Not hurt, can't walk through it. Oh, this is a puzzle. That stopped one of them. Promising start. I think I solved the puzzle completely by accident. But I'll take it. I trapped it. Only God knows how long it stays like that. If you're reading this, I implore you to be careful and plan your next steps carefully. If you look... If you lack the sanity to leave, do one thing and kill that creature. The furnace is still set to be operational with enough fuel to ignite itself temporarily. The lever head is broken, so you'll need to find a replacement in the cargo room and then lock the creature in the furnace and turn it on. Kill it once and for all. Okay. I don't know if I'm in a hider. <laughs> Hide before it's too late. Said hide from it, it's already too late, I think is what it said. So I'm going to give it a second. Just see if anything happens to stroll by. Here's the thing. I'm terrible at stealth segments. Ho oh, ho, I hear that! Yeah, I'm really bad at stealth segments. So, there is a non-zero chance this is more or less where my playthrough ends. I'm going to give it my best shot, though. It depends on how generous they are with checkpoints. I don't see anything. I hear something, but I can't see anything, so I have no visual reference. Screw it. Whoa! Hi. <laughs> I'll shift a sprint to the nearest cover. Okay, wasn't exactly what I expected it to look like, I'll be honest. Oh, that note was my, the checkpoint. Oh wait, no, that's where I came from. I mean, he turned around. Oh, me hiding actually prompts it to get out of, like, whatever it's stuck in. So... Now we get to play this game. Oh, wow! Big red eyes! Cool, cool, cool. Does it not see me? Am I still gonna get jump scared? Like, what's the deal here? Or does he just lose all sight of me? I guess he just loses all sight of me. Don't 
don't really know where I'm going. I'm guessing at this point. A rock? Oh, that's when he mentioned throwing a piece of coal distracted it. Crap. Hi, friend! Hi. Go away. Ugh, the real challenge has begun. I was kind of happier with it being a puzzle horror themed game. Again, I'm terrible with stealth segments. It's gonna hinge a lot on this whether he tethers onto me or not. I genuinely don't know which direction he's going, and I don't know what direction I'm going, so it's kind of a lose lose. Honestly, the physics of the game is a little bit wonky, so throwing things is not something that I've really gotten the chance to practice on. I'm going for it. Crap. Hi! I made a mistake. I'm back here again. Great. I hate stealth games. <clears throat> Which is funny, as Boktai was kind of built as a stealth game, but I love those games. But those games gave me a gun. If I had a gun, I could end this problem right now and probably salvage the entire ship. I cannot tell you how many times in a horror game I found myself saying the words, If I had a gun, I could fix this. Because it's true. Oh, he's going that way. I'm going this way, then. Don't know, don't care, just going for it. Yeah, eliminating the walls does not help me all that much. Alright. Get it together. Crap, I just backtracked! This is a disaster. Okay, this just loops in on itself. I actually thought that was a different hallway entirely. <sighs> He's beelining it. So am I. I hate you. 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 So he really only kind of patrols in this general area, which is fine, except for how it isn't. Shut up. I can't see anything in these super long hallways. Are you kidding me? This just loops back around. I'm finally kind of starting to get a feel for the layout, but it's like... at the cost of my sanity. Hi. Why does this keep happening? Are you kidding me? You're so slow you didn't even follow me properly. Great. Yeah, that death scream... Probably shouldn't have been the take you went with. <sighs> oh! That's where he comes from, so that's good to know. Sounds like he's walking away. Really wish this lantern was a little more use. What? 
too. <sighs> I'm gonna give this one more go, and then I'm calling it a wash. Throws the door down and then starts stompity stomping towards me. He's faster than my walking speed, but he's slower than my running speed. Okay, something's on my left, so if I hurry, I can get past him. Head down here. Seems to be generally the direction I want to go in. But why? He sounds close, so I'm gonna wait a sec. Oh wow, he was very close. Closer than I thought. No, I'm backtracking again! I like the monster noises. Like, that definitely is cool. I think he loses all sense of where you are when you go into the hiding spot. He was right on me! It's a good thing this thing doesn't understand object permanence, or I'd really have been hosed. Okay, I kinda get what's supposed to happen next. Kind of. But I need him to get in there so I can light him up. Shut the door. Oh, that was dumb. Thankfully not as dumb as him. Okay, I've seen the ignition. Are you kidding me? I can't even look at the puzzle to solve it. He just aggros on me like that. Let's play the game about mermaids, I said. What? The door overrides is not there. So now I have to find that in the dark while being chased. Fish. Coal. This is not great. And I mean that kind of in the sense of um, things took a turn for the worse in terms of difficulty and quality when that guy showed up. I was actually having a lot of fun exploring around and doing the puzzles and having the cool atmospheric ambiance. Now that it's a stealth game, like, this has really gone downhill. I have to find... <clears throat> I now get to find the door mechanism for the door in the dark while being chased. So, um, I don't love that. Where 
is it? There's a few places in this area I could conceivably see it being, but I can't find anything. First off, because it's just dark. That sounds like he's, like, right there. Uh, what a pain. Hi. was on top of the situation, up until I wasn't, and here, finally! Can I close this door? That sounds promising. Just opened a door to another room? This is bad. I've lost all sight of Big Green and Gruesome. Is the lever supposed to be in here? They changed. I heard the whispers. I couldn't resist the urge. I can't push myself to write the horrors. Don't touch it. You must resist it. I can't hold back much longer. Whoa! Pressing E, I'm pressing E, I'm pressing E! What? What? I... What happened? It's driving me crazy, I can't get my mind off of it. it calls me every waking moment. I need, even in my sleep, I need it. I must be satiated its desires. I must feed its hunger. I've killed too many to stop now. Their flesh turning into the roots that hold the very chains that bind me link by link, inch by inch. So when the champion of the depths will be released, something from the beating heart in my body, I'll be the key. Last step, the meat I've already harvested becoming its strength. Good. Now I get to carry this thing back manually like I did that crowbar, which I dropped a bunch. I think I picked up, like, that artifact thing. I don't know if I... Open the door. Open the stupid door. Through the coal! Go in there, stupid! <sighs> I'm hoping I'm on the right track after all that. Whereas I think I would have game over had I lost all sanity in presence of the artifact. Then why would I have taken it? I thought I was going to use it as bait in the furnace. Make it that simple, can ya? Do I have something to throw in there? It's kind of what I thought I was using that artifact for. That sounds bad.
can't tell if he's approaching or leaving. that you're gonna burn bye bye you have escaped congratulations on completing the cry of the mermaid you have killed the monster looking in the depths of the ship and saved countless future explorers like yourself Woo. okay so Yes, return to the main menu, please. Okay, so... Um, does not appear to wish to return to the main menu, so I'll just do my final thoughts here. So, that was Cry of the Mermaid, and honestly, I liked it a lot more before the chase sequence kicked in. Like, yeah, you, you definitely gave me something added to the experience of the puzzle solving, but honestly, I was kind of having some trouble with the puzzles in the first place. Like, the, the, because the ship is so dark, it's easy to overlook things. And because it's easy to overlook things, I ended up walking past a whole bunch of stuff. And the, the chase sequence kind of lowered my opinion of the game by about a letter grade, because... I was really enjoying this, like the ambiance, the horror atmosphere, and, and everything else. And just having this kind of generic hide in the closet moment and, and having to solve the puzzle and learn the layout all while being chased by the monster was kind of frustrating. And the artifact kind of comes out of nowhere. Like the implication may be that the mermaid was not a sea creature come to the ship. It was instead a human who was like possessed by the artifact and became this fish monster, which I've seen a lot of in horror, like the, the whole deep sea abomination. And then, you know, the monster was one of us, but corrupted it. You probably would have had a more interesting and compelling story. If you had, instead of like the chase sequence, find the monster still trapped and then like maybe mention the artifact way sooner and how it's like calling to people. And then you can do like the whole like creepy ambient whispers thing. And maybe at the end, give the player a choice. And then like one ending is you destroy the monster and then like, just try to get the ship to safety as best you can. And then in the other, you like have the option of, taking the artifact, releasing the monster, and then becoming, like, the first of the generation of this new, like, chaos cult or something. I liked it. I thought it was really good. The atmosphere was really cool, and some of the puzzles were really, really fun. Um, and the, the feeling of dread in the early parts of the game are palpable, and I really liked that. But I will say, um, a lot of the stuff at the 11th hour kind of needs to be retooled. Because I, I think you have a great idea here. You have a really solid foundation and I just want to see it realized more fully. You don't need to have the spooky chase sequence. Not every indie game has to have one of those. And so um, it felt more frustrating than anything. But overall, the game is good. I really liked it. Uh, again, link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. And I don't know, maybe you'll have a slightly different experience from me, but I'm really bad at stealth segments and, and chase sequences like that that aren't like, okay, this, this is the hallway. You're being chased down the hallway. There's literally only one place you can go. Ergo, you're going to mess up a lot less. Uh, but that's just my opinion. You guys tell me what you think in the comments down below. This is the Hipster Snick, and I'm signing off for now.